I think I've showed you guys enough videos to prove that you can get for under $500 quality 3D printing. Well, I'm going to show you one today. This is absolutely the cheapest fully assembled heated bed printer I have ever seen. It's the Monoprice Select Mini. It's $199 and already sold out. I had to get one as soon as they came out. So I'll do an evaluation on this, show you what I think of it on today's Film of Friday. This printer came very nicely packaged. It was packed inside these styrofoam inserts and wrapped right around this thing. So it was very well protected. It came with a package that had a, a scraper, a little USB cable, an Allen wrench for adjusting the bed, and an SD card, a micro SD card. And on the SD card were a couple sample files already pre-sliced, uh, .g code files, and then a couple setup files, one for Cura and one for Repetier. There's a flyer that comes in it that has a code. You enter that code at the website, takes you to the page for this guy, and from there you can download the manual. So I downloaded it, printed it out, and it takes you step by step setting up your first print, how to level the bed. Now mine came in pretty level. I didn't have to tweak it hardly at all. And then it steps you through installing Cura and, and uh, Repetier. So it's a decent manual. I would say it's real thorough, but it steps you through the basics. Not bad. Now it did come box in a box. So it's a monoprice box with a blank box. So that implies that this isn't their design. Plus I've seen this at other sites for actually $2.99 and uh, some Chinese sites. So I'm not sure where exactly it's manufactured or who is the manufacturer. So model price is your first contact. But when I contacted them about getting firmware for it, they said they could get it for me if there was a problem. You know, they could reflash it, but they didn't have it for me to download. So already it's telling me it's a little bit closed source. So what I did do is I took the bottom apart to see how this thing works. Let me show you that. Motherboard looks like a custom design, but it's got these really nice labels on all the cables so you know which one's the X, Y, and Z motor. So converting this to another board might be easy. The LCD display and the control look custom, but the way it's designed and placed in here, you could probably replace this with a RepRap display if you needed to. The stepper motors, the one on the left is a NEMA 17. I looked it up. Pretty standard motor, but the one on the right, I have no idea. And that controls the Z-axis. The other side of the motherboard has a USB connector and the micro SD card slot already built in and a huge heatsink for the motor drivers. Now on the top was the built-in extruder and there's a little bit of rust on the bolt and that was the only detail I saw that was bad. So then I shined some light inside the tower and you can see there's two rods on one side with like LMU bearings and then there's a threaded rod which looks a lot bigger than what's on the Fabricator Mini and then another NEMA 17 motor to control the x-axis and then another rod on the other side. So there's three rods holding this thing in place. The front of the unit has this LCD screen which looks like a touch screen but it's not. You gotta spin the wheel to the right and press it to activate. That's how you control it. There's three menus to choose from the print menu, temperature menu, and the move menu. The move menu lets you control the axes including homing it and also control the extruder. The temperature menu allows you to preset the extruder and platform temperatures. And then from there you can print under the print menu. And when it's done it tells you to elapse time and has this nice feature that you can click on that says one more to automatically print another. This thing comes with a 12 volt 10 amp power brick similar to a laptop and similar to the Fabricator Mini. It plugs in the back and actually has an on off switch which is kind of nice because even some more expensive printers don't have that. Now also included in the box of parts was this arm to hold the, the spools of filament. It just slides on the edge and it's all metal and fits a full roll of filament. Now they advertise that they include some sample PLA but I didn't get any in the box. So I loaded up my own, everything went smooth. So let me show you the first print. So here's the finished print and it looks really good. The top is really smooth, the edges are 
crisp and rounded where you want it. The legs look good. Overall, I'd say this is an excellent print. Now, in the midsection here, there's some like ribbing or layering on the trunk, the face, and the behind. And I don't know, it looks like it's part of the design actually. It doesn't look like the, the printer shifted, it just looks like it was designed this way. But I don't have the original STL file, so I don't know. So, tell you what, why don't we do a print off? I'll take my Fabricator Mini and put it next to this guy and I'll have them both print my infamous chest pawn and we'll see how they compare. So let's try that now. I used the exact same file from Simplify 3D on both machines. The only thing the Select Mini's bed probably needed to be adjusted a little bit because the outer ring at the base didn't stick as well so the bottom got rounded up. But everywhere else these things are identical. They are both great prints. So do I recommend this printer? Yes I do. I think for $199 it's a heck of a deal. It really is. Heated bed, built in LCD, full metal construction, fully assembled, even rubber feet on the bottom. It's it's a good deal and it prints really well. So yeah, I recommend it. Now if you go out and buy one, don't blame me. <laughs> I've had people say, Chuck, you talked me into buying another printer. I'm not trying to talk anybody into buying this printer. If this wasn't donated, this isn't an advertisement. I bought this printer with funds from my Patreon supporters. So really my Patreon supporters are the ones who bought this so I could show it to you. So thank you, Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. So yeah, I, I can recommend this printer and I'll probably use it more in the future. So that's it for this week. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention, I do have Filament Friday stickers now. So if you want one, just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address that's in the description and I'll send you a sticker. So that's it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and help me get to that magic 10K. We're getting close. I'm almost at, I think, 9,500 now. So I'm 500 away from 10,000 subscribers. That would be awesome to hit that. And if you want to help support by buying things like this, a dollar a month to my Patreon account is what does it. It helps a lot. So that's it. I'll see you next time right here on Filament Friday. Friday.